from Lake Lost Riley Davidson. Uh, chance to get the bike out here today, um, out in this uh, natural environment, or what we intended it for, to uh, get out here by the coast and do some do some riding. And man, it couldn't have been any better, man. The bike rides great, feels great. Um, it's just, just wants to keep going and going and going all the way down the border, man. It was it was pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, the, everything worked worked out really really great. The dual disc front end, the touring front wheel. Um, the bars, everything just came together really, really nice and spike. Couldn't be happier. Um, hope you guys like it. And, uh Myers here, Late Lost Harley Davidson. I uh, just wanted to show everybody the uh, Coast Life project that we did. Uh, came out real good. We brought it to its natural habitat out here at the beach where it belongs. You know, one of the things I really enjoyed about it was the, uh, the exhaust system. We went the Vance and Hines exhaust system. Um, we're using the street tuner uh, stacked with the auto tuner on it. The thing purrs perfectly, it runs great. Uh, has a good sound to it. It's not too loud, but it's uh, nice and throaty, very responsive. And you know, with this engine, just feels like it wants to pull forever. So it's front fairing. Just blocks the wind perfectly. You have good view. Of course, we've got the uh, stereo system involved here. So you have everything you need to just kind of have a great day of cruising this thing down the coast or let alone anywhere else. The comfort of it is amazing. The Krause handlebar risers and the, the, the Moto Sal bar setup is, is just a favorite of ours and just super comfortable. Uh, the other thing that kind of felt really good to me was having this Saddleman seat here. Um, I believe it's their wall collection. Um, just kind of sets you right back in there. You get some lower back support and just makes for a real comfortable ride. I mean, like I said, you get on this thing and you just want to go forever. Any bike like this, you know, everybody kind of wants the dual disc. They want the aesthetics of it and the performance. So you just kind of can't go wrong by adding this to our build. And, uh, you know, running this wraparound front fender just kind of fits the uh, fits the bike with the fairing and the saddlebags and everything together. But, uh, yeah, we couldn't be happier with this thing. Yeah. The point of this is we're building what we think the people want and what they want to see. I'm Steve, Lake Lost Harley Davidson, Service Department, a team member on the Coast Glide build. Came on the bike today, uh, first things first, the bike ran great, uh, jumped on it, did a couple laps on it and didn't want to get off of it. Um, coming off of a Dyna, jumping onto this, uh, this was about a hundred times better, you can say. Uh, felt good. Uh, felt good with the mid controls. Uh, we did a mid control kit on this bike. Uh, we borrowed it from the Street Bob, the newer Street Bob. And it's perfect. Uh, I'm not the tallest guy, so uh, having the mid controls on this, um, it worked perfect. Orange uh, on the, the orange covers on the engine came out awesome. The powder coat really popped. They did a great job on it. You know, here in the beach, putting on some tunes and riding down the coast, it was perfect for this bike. It needed it. A lot of people don't do sound systems on this style of fairing. A lot do. I think it's perfect that we did it. Um, overall, the bike's amazing. Um, from the front end to dual disc setup, the suspension rode awesome. I'd be any happier with it. I mean, uh, 
whoever buys it is going to love it. What's up guys, Mount Laidlaw here. So we finally got to ride the Coast Glide for the first time and we wanted to ride it for the first time by the coast, of course. And really what I wanted to talk about was the inspiration behind this build. We wanted to build a bike that was that checked all the boxes for California riders. And those are, we wanted to have a bike with a fairing because we do a lot of freeway riding here. We do a lot of high speed, long distance riding here. Uh, and wind protection is a big thing. We went with the soft tail chassis and more of a, a narrower profile because splitting lanes is also important here in Southern California when we're on the freeways. We want that performance orientation for being able to stand up on the pegs and things like that. Mid controls are really important. Because we really wanted to kind of embrace or embody the style that is real popular in Southern California right now. The FXR or FXRT with the fairing here is real popular. Kind of this retro throwback look FXR era is really making a comeback in Southern California. It has been for a while now. It's nothing new. We wanted to, of course, use the retro FXR T fairing and kind of capture that style. And I felt like we knocked it out of the park with this one. It looks amazing. And, you know, of course, you know, Seth, the aggressive designs, he capped it off with the most beautiful paint job uh, that, that we could ask for. So I think everything came together extremely good to have a, a hard style saddlebag, which is part of the reason why we started with the Sport Glide as well. We felt it was really important to use as much genuine Harley Davidson accessories as possible. And so the bags are genuine Harley Davidson stock bags off the Sport Glide. To you know, use the low rider fender to have more of that full fender look as opposed to the chopped look. With the highlighter wheels and kind of combine that with some highlights on the engine and everything, we feel like the high visibility wheels right now are becoming more and more popular trend that we wanted to kind of capture on this bike it sounds great too you know going for a two into one pipe that was important again performance oriented you know we are entering into the performance category of the battle of the kings and so everything we did we wanted to make it performance oriented and you know kind of also the the thought behind the model designation the fx gts is the FX front end off of the Fat Bob and the GT for Grand Touring and then the S, you know, because it is a performance oriented Davidson. Thanks a lot for watching guys. We really appreciate the support we've gotten from our customers and viewers over the years. Go vote for us now in the Battle of the Kings competition and help us win this thing by following the link in the description of the video or by going to harleydavidson.com and voting for the Coast Glide. Thanks a lot guys. Take care.